Welcome to space. Dozens of Euro 2016 matches are being broadcast all over the world via satellite. But did you know that there's a technology based on internet and satellite that allows even a small football club to live stream their games and target a specific audience? We've come to Italy to hear about the experience of one club, and we also travel to a teleport in France to explore how the technology works. Players of the Cuneo football team haven't been used to large audiences, but thanks to satellite communication features, even a small club like this one in northwestern Italy has the opportunity to broadcast their matches live via an internet service that relies on satellite. The pilot project has been developed and tested this season in the Italian Pro Football League, the third division, by a consortium with the support of the European Space Agency. The immediate impact increased visibility. Surely it's a good thing, a benefit for a championship like the Pro League, which doesn't have the followers of Serie A or Serie B or the Champions League. It's an opportunity for our league and for Cuneo to get more visibility, especially in the business. Another interesting opportunity is reaching potential new supporters who can enjoy the game by the satellite internet connection. Fans, of course, aren't as numerous as in other more important championships, so the supporters who don't usually come to the stadium have, in this way, the possibility to see the matches at home or on a mobile phone. The pictures coming from satellites land on a teleport like this one. Here we receive the signals coming by the satellite from terminals in different parts of Europe. Then, by our fibre network, we deliver them with the internet. The matches of the Italian Pro League have been distributed through a web streaming channel called SportTube. New satellite systems allow for higher bandwidth communication and turn out to be cheaper for satellite filming services. Bandwidth is a fundamental criteria when it comes to broadcasting pictures via satellite. The broadcast bandwidth is our daily bread. We can compare it to the flow of water from a tap. A lower water flow corresponds to a low bandwidth. A higher water flow corresponds to a larger band. The information we send to the satellites is converted into bits, the basic piece of information. A phone call needs a few thousand bits per second, whereas TV pictures in high definition or sports images, they are more complex. They require millions, sometimes billions of bits per second. Besides the delivery of TV pictures, satellite-based broadband is also used for internet connection. As in Europe, there are still regions where terrestrial internet access isn't viable. Why internet via satellite? Well, the big advantage is the fact that you just need a terminal, extremely cheap, and you can install it anywhere in order to have an ADSL-like internet connectivity and doing everything you normally do at home. The other great advantage of satellites is the coverage. These features rely on geostationary satellites that keep a continual watch on a specific area of Earth from their space orbit above the equator. But how does this all work, though? The CEO of Utilstat's Fransat affiliate is the man to ask. We can take this ball as an example of the Earth. The satellite is orbiting 36,000 kilometers away. We see that when the Earth is revolving, the satellite spins at the same speed as the Earth. In this way, from Earth, we will always have the same visibility of the satellite. One of the next steps forward for the viewer's experience is Ultra HD, which can provide cinema-like picture quality. Satellite's bandwidth availability and its wide coverage areas will enable viewers to receive the same quality signal. The ultra-high resolution is going to be the new standard of tomorrow's television. It has a much higher quality than high definition. It has four times more pixels than high definition. Eight million pixels. But it also has better pixels. 
Thanks to the constant progress of the broadcasting and satellite industries, in the near future, watching a sports match will be a full immersion experience. We foresee the opportunity to multiply the number of cameras, the points of capture of images, from the player's point of view, for instance. We can, through cameras that will be installed on the player's shirts, really live the game. That's beyond having a view of the match, but being in it and being able to increase the number of experiences, the ways of watching and experiencing a sporting moment. Small clubs such as Caneo will likely have to wait a while to enjoy this video revolution. But the use of satellite and internet has the potential to bring smaller sports events to more than 200 million people across Europe. And now for Destination Mars, our journey towards the Red Planet along with the European Space Agency's ExoMars mission. This month we talk about the decontamination procedures used for the instruments making the journey. Let's see. I'm John Robert Brucato, an astrobiologist at the Astrophysical Observatory of Arcetri near Florence. I'm in charge of the planetary protection for the DREAMS instrument, travelling to Mars aboard the ExoMars probe. Instruments on board the ExoMars mission, aimed at searching for signs of life, must be sterilised before launch to avoid contaminating the planet with terrestrial life. We know now that on Earth there are extraordinarily resistant bacteria, able to bear extreme environmental conditions, and which could survive on board a space mission during an interplanetary journey. The procedure for sterilizing a space mission instrument on board involves putting it in a high temperature environment at 120 degrees for several hours or even days, and this way we're sure to have no biological load on board. Thinking about future missions that will bring Martian samples to Earth, today we're studying at a European level how to develop a protected place to analyse these samples and to check whether there's extraterrestrial life on another planet. That's all for now. You can watch the whole series of space on our website, euronews.com. Thanks for watching.